allow their dear friends from different places and different planets and different time depending on where you are right now it can be morning afternoon or night good everything to you welcome to another truck simulator episode or a series today we are driving a truck and guess what it got some farmer stuff yeah the farmers there in town need some plows and guess who they called they called the best truck simulator guy ever and that is us so today there's no cops there's no transport for you it's just you your truck and your navigation and your thoughts all right so let's go and start this now i'm gonna start the truck yes amazing let's hear the sound of it yeah let it roll just like that so i'm gonna take pull up my navigation then that's the navigation without navigation i would be lost to your friend let's get the right navigation option and that's us let's get um distance speed okay it shows the speed let's get this navigation cooking as well and boom we are on the right navigation and let's take off this takes around 4 hours 24 minutes so don't worry it shouldn't take so long let's put in first gear and move all right i'm taking off and we are all good well hope you guys had a good day you maybe your day starting i hope you have a good day then let's go ahead and see where we are oh look at that i am in Winnemacow. i'm sorry for pronouncing it wrong and i'm going all the way to carson city so that's where i am now so if you're from this place don't forget to give a like and subscribe and don't forget to give a comment as well so let me go and explore as i always tell you guys i haven't seen us before and this is one of the chance i get to see us on the us everyone drives on the right over here where i stay everyone drives on the left there you go so i'm going to stop at the stop signal left right because safety comes first i'm just turning around training my gears and we are off on another beautiful adventure today look at the sun wow isn't it so cool i always like village life i think currently i'm in a village on road again everybody knows on the road again if you haven't listened to the song it's good oh you can listen to country roads take me home to a place i don't belong that's another song you could always listen to well the thing about village life is so good it's away from technology it's so peaceful there's nobody to wire you there's no lot of traffic and it's everything is so friendly everybody in the village knows everybody if you are in other words not in the village you can say the countryside if you live in a countryside or if you live in the countryside now you know how different it is early morning when you wake up you are the birds chirping you're like beep, 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 beep. once you hear the birds chirping what will be the next thing you go out and take a big dump <laughs> because <laughs> depends on what you eat oh is he coming in no okay seems right so the thing about us is it's free right all the time which is good all right so woohoo let's go mama let's show, show them what you got okay so i'm almost there let's take my left is there any traffic there's no traffic 65 miles for an hour beautiful okay we're back so i was talking about villages so that's that's what you do you wake up you drink a cool coffee because me without coffee i never go a day without coffee indeed you should have coffee coffee is life for me so this is what's happening you're the village you're in birds and then you gotta go to the field to plant or you have to go to take care of your cattle well isn't that beautiful isn't isn't that what you're supposed to be doing well you have to go and plow your field you put in rice or barley or potatoes i'm well isn't that field no smoking zone i i didn't see no smoking zone on it yep and wait i'm, I'm really sorry if i'm doing the mistake I'm, am i supposed to be driving on the left lane i think i have to go and check back and we can truck rules again uh, because i see all the trucks going to on the right Maybe if you're on the left lane or left lane, you should be going more faster. But all the traffic's going faster there. 
Okay, so the current time now is 11.43 p.m. So it's just about afternoon. The sun shining bright. Isn't that wonderful? The sun is the best thing that could ever happen to us. Okay, now let's go back to the village life. You're in the village and then it's so cool and so nice. It's so pleasant. You speak to your family, you relax. You're away from the computers. You're away from your tablets, your tabloid. You're away from YouTube. You're most probably uh, taking care of cattle, drawing some milk from the cow, of course. <laughs> yeah, you want to be drawing milk from the cow, indeed. And nothing else. Oh, you can, yeah, I mean, one of the cattle, it could be goat. Well, I'm not sure if you guys drink goat milk. I, I've got friends who said they drink goat milk and buffalo milk and whatnot. All kinds of different milks here. So, that's it. The thing about the village is so pleasant. There's no noise. Wait. Ah, there are beacons on. We'll be using a beacon real soon when we're, when we're uh, taking big things. I'm going to switch my lane. We'll be with them. I, I have a very bad feeling that I'm on the wrong lane. So, there's a truck. As soon as it passes by, I shall switch lane. Now, my indicator's on. I'm switching my lane. That's me in the grey truck. Okay, so I'll switch my lane. There we are. Turn off indicator. Wait, isn't it? Oh, I, I, oh, come on. I had the wrong time. I was like, why is it looking like sunset? The current time is 8, 12, 12 in the night. Are you serious? Whoa, let me turn on my lights. Okay, there we are. Lights on. And here we are and off. So that's what happens. You have an horse. Maybe you go drive an horse. I don't know what goes in the US. But it's a good journey, isn't it? Well, while if you're in the city, most days you spend at home. Or you go to a party. Or you... Uh, I don't watch most of the guys. You guys do normally. But I think I would love to have a village life. Live in the village. Uh, have some birds. And enjoy the wonderful, beautiful weather. weather. And imagine if you had a small cottage right in the village. Or countryside. Let's skip village. Just imagine countryside. You're on the countryside. You have a small cottage. You got every night you have to put up some fire. And then you have to maybe pick up a book. Read a book. What else would you do in the village? And then, to your surprise, there is a tiny stream next to where you live. Wow. Now that's a life. That's a life I always thought. I, I wish happened. But I think you can make it come true. Everybody can make anything come true. It's all in their brains and hands. That's what I believe. Well, you should believe the same too. That's the story about village life. I have no lot of examples, but I've, I've read a lot. I've seen a little bit, but I mean, if seeing is believing, most people think seeing is believing. So you have to go see and believe. Yes, indeed, you shall. Um, if you guys haven't seen my other videos such as f whoa Wait, Is that the Grand Canyon? I just saw windmill wind miles wind chimes not wind chimes indeed it's windmills I'm slowing down here. Ah That's those are not wind chimes. It could be a prison. I mean if you guys playing GTA 5 if you haven't played GTA 5 It's just time you play GTA 5. So this is how it looks. You're right there and then you that's, that looks like the prison in GTA 5. And this on the left and right looks like the roads. Yep. Let me concentrate on the road. I don't want to go get crashed and pay a huge fine. Yeah, I look like I... Oh, don't look at my price. Well, I'm really rich indeed if you look at the price next on the left. And corner on top. I'm rich, of course. But I like driving trucks. That's one way. It takes me around the world. And in this episode... We are in Vema Cacao. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> the fun part with me is I just start babbling something all of a sudden. My and my tongue goes uncontrollable. It's unstoppable indeed. Let's open up uh, the map here. See where exactly we are. Okay, Vena Macau. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go. Oh, we're coming up to Reno. That's good news. We'll go and check out the peaceful villages there. Well... If you look around, you could see the beautiful small kind of hill. Just imagine someone lived here. Just imagine you lived here, around in this place. What would you do at 9.16pm? 
I'm sure you'll be having a dog and taking out for a walk. Because if you're not doing that, I would normally most probably do that. I'll have a dog right there and somewhere out there and pick it and go for a walk. That's what I'll do. Alright, what do we think? What do you think you might do at 9.22 in, in the night? Go and leave a comment right down below. And we'll check it out and see what we could do. You mentioned something, I could bring it up and we could go and talk about that as well in the next episode and next series. Okay, so we are in a big engine. The engine's called Peter Blit. I know I haven't heard of this truck before. I am lovely to know how it's actually pronounced. I shall have a look, but it is a massive truck. I was reading the other day and they said American trucks have a little more less horsepower than European truck. I'm like, whoa, why is that? Why does American truck have less uh, horsepower of European truck? Whoa, look at that nice fancy car. I don't know what's it called. It's amazing. I wish I had a car like that. Okay, so why is American truck more have uh, as lesser speed or lesser horsepower than European truck? I'm like, yeah, let's find that out. So I went onto the internet, my best friend, everybody's best friend, google.com. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, so go to google.com and search why does American truck have less horsepower European truck. And that's why I checked that. And I also checked, I was mainly checking for, Euro, uh, for the simulators, but then I understood it's reality. All the American trucks are less because the altitude of the place. In America, the altitude is lower and in European countries, the altitude is higher from the sea level in other words the ground is higher American ground is more lower whoa am I not able to see here yeah it's getting too dark isn't it well look at that truck ah now I know why you have to put that indicator or that sign that says caution you have to keep it in a kilometer away and then put your car in the front makes sense I, I was driving the other day and I saw this guy's car and he had this uh, caution symbol right behind him that's what she said <laughs> okay so where was I yeah so I was talking about European and American trucks check it out it's the sea altitude of the land and that's why the engines are more faster so it can go around or go faster or if it's required it can go slow but again it's the internet it's google.com it depends on what browser you use you'll be able to access Google but you'll never know it could be true it could be not true it's internet again Anyway, so it's your choice why don't you google and tell me if it's true there's another other choice for you and let me know if it's informative ah what's that that's a weighing bridge isn't that that's where trucks move and weigh things Ooh, good 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 all right so let's go where we we have one hour 56 minutes left 55 meter 55 i'm going at the right speed it's 53 miles for an hour which is a fantastic anyways fantastic beast and where you find that mm -hmm. oh I'm changing lanes uh, this this is about big trucks you see it's kind of huge that's what she said <laughs> okay <laughs> so it, it depends on the big trucks so when you move a little bit left or right it, it takes time for you to turn back around because you have a big all in the back or you have a you have a big vehicle what do you call the thing which you carry in the back? Oh, come on. Are you serious? You're telling me I drive trucks and I don't know what's the thing call, you call carrying in the back? Well, that's weird indeed. Well, it's time I learned what exactly I'm doing. And this, read more about it. It's, ooh, Reno discovered. Fantastic. If you live in Reno, don't forget to give a like and subscribe on the bell button. And you get a ping every time I go live or every time I publish a video. Shall be joined. Don't forget to give a comment too. So I can see what's new in Vino or what exactly happens there. Any place, any time I try and plan to visit back, I shall be there and I'll be like, ooh, this person asked me to go there and here I am. Let us know how the trucks there is. Is it very noisy or not? Yes. Another point I forgot to add is noise. If you are in the city, it would be noisy. If you're not in the city, it wouldn't be so noisy, will it? But all you'll be hearing is tractor noise, truck noises, unless you lived on the highway. I mean, I hope you don't live on the highway. I mean, not on the way, very close to the highway because you get a lot of song, a lot of noise by the trucks passing, by the honking. Talking about honking, I don't think they'll honk a lot in America unless you're in New York City. Let's go and give it a honk honk.
there you go that's the honk of the truck and that is our truck carrying the precious field cargo f cargo for our farmers so i'm going to move to the right lane now okay i am in the right lane beautiful yes so if you haven't tried farming it's time you did do not get get the farming simulator and you'll be wonderfully pleased of what you do you can plant vegetables you can plant in potatoes you can plant plant in all kinds of different things and you should go for sell them well maybe um i should sometime soon do the farming simulator and get things up i think i beam is not so good but you can see clearly but it's not our type okay people are taking right i'm going to take a right because it says so road work and i have to slow down okay this guy is breaking there's road work he's going right let me go i don't want to go bang someone <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I didn't mean that way. I mean, I don't want to go bang someone who's standing on the street. Just enjoying and re enjoying the weather like how I told you in the countryside. I don't want that to happen around here, do I? Well, ooh, isn't this suspenseful? Uh, night driving is one way nice, but you get... You won't be able to see a lot. I like the scenery. Maybe next time, I'll just go in the morning and finish the morning. And then we'll see how that goes. What do you think? Yup, yup, yup. Okay. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay. Just change my gear. I'm at 26 miles per hour. 27 miles. And increasing. Increasingly fast. Well, imagine what these farmers are. Maybe this, the, the plow I'm going to deliver is maybe for a new farmer. Maybe the farmer's just waiting for me. Yep. He's just waiting for me to go and kill him this. Yep, indeed. So let's go and check out. I'll be there in the next 1 hour 12 minutes. So Moose is eagerly waiting to see. Ooh, how's his feel? How's his plow waiting for him? It does it work? Maybe he has his cows and cattle ready. Talking about cows and cattle, for people who uh, plow things in the European countries, in few places, they use horses instead of cows or bullocks or oxen so they use horses to go around they still have chariots of course not of course in the UK as well I mean not chariot chariot to go in the field and mud and dirty the wheels I mean see they actually use horses they use lots of uh, donkeys yeah donkey you remember the donkey from Shrek they even use a talking donkey if you talk a lot like a donkey they put you right there but what would you do if you had a talking donkey like Shrek? Hmm, that makes me think. If I had a talking donkey like Shrek, would I go to shows and show him off in the museum? Would he be my friend? If a donkey was talking, I think... I have no idea what, would I, what I'd do with him. I think I'd just go to one of the pubs and relax with him and tell, let him know. I want to tell him how donkeys feel. You know, talking about donkeys, Let's go to animals. I want to know how animals feel, what they think, what they like. I always, always be kind to animals. Who are listening to this, be kind to birds. If you're passing by, give them some bird food. If you, if you have a puppy or a dog that always sits right in front of your house, don't call those guys who come take it away, like the camel. Give them some food. Make everyone happy. Talking about everything is linked to everything. You can always check out my other video about space. I make video about space and it tells you what what does it mean if everything is linked with everything. I just made a video and published it, published it yesterday. So there you go. You should have a playlist on my channel called as space. So have a look at that as well. Okay. We're coming off close. It's 28. Oh. It's 12 o'clock. 12.36. And it's... 57 miles more to go and I think I'm it's going slow as a snail aren't I look at all this truck going in front of me yeah well oh 80 kilometers 80 miles ah come on since the place I am we use kilometers that's an end of where I live now look at this truck I'm gonna overtake this truck let's go me 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 have you seen all the movies they go with the light yeah, pass by and...
what I just do, I pressed on the map. Oh, look, fantastic. So I'm in Carson City, going to Carson City. Ooh, it's almost very close. I'm almost on the highway. I passed Reno. I must have had a look at the city, you see, I'm in the other town. I think I must have had a look at the town because I want to see how Reno looks, that small, tiny town. I don't know if it's a really small, tiny town, but on the map, it shows a small, tiny town. Another good thing about American Truck Simulator is the buildings. From what I heard, there's a cop. Woohoo! Popo! Here comes the police. So, the thing I'm gonna learn about. Wah! Blah 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 blah. Okay, another thing I learned about American Truck Simulator is that the land, cities, all of them, and also the buildings, they all look almost the same. Well, isn't that surprising? And isn't that a good way to see what you want to see when you're not there? For example, if you want to see America, just jump on the American Truck Simulator and boom, you're there. Well, if you want to sky in the fly in the skies, you could always use the Airplane Simulator or the Microsoft Simulator X. Flight Simulator, in other words. I've got videos for those as well. Don't forget to have a look at that. Boo boo. Oh, you must be thinking, look at this guy selling us as watch videos. But I think you might enjoy it. Yeah. Look at that. We're going down, going down, and boom. Well, the road's almost ending for us today. It's 25 miles on on power there's an extra very close 25 minutes more it's 19 miles 18 miles now if you can see to my right down which it is a navigation that shows uh, show me driving well aha uh -huh. city lights whoa look at me switching lanes bad bad driver i'm a bad driver switching lanes without indicators Ooh. okay i think i must be in the right lane so i'm switching to the right lane i think i must take my the next left okay lane switch complete yup it's taking my next left right there and exit I'm exiting the highway going to the freeway mm -hmm. and so in the place where I live it's called service roads not freeways and then I'm um, ooh 35 kilometers for an hour is what I'm supposed to be driving in cities uh, me not nah, why am i oh there's cops please don't tell me they're stopping me i've got no drugs you want to search oh go ahead there's even an helicopter well i've come on cop i'm just here to give some things to the farmers i'm supposed to take my left right here after that okay thank god it's not me oh may I, I wonder what he's done carson city Moving towards right, right lane now. Because it says I have to go straight. Okay. Ooh. Look at this town. Isn't that brilliant? Look at me, my puny uh, vehicle in front. Oh, let me go a little bit further. Supposed to be living on the front, right of the line. Casino. Oh, I'd love to go to casino shell out all my coins and see what it is what's your casino oh Carson City or Carson Lights have a lot of casin casinos I never knew that oh green light this is what happens when you speak do not speak when you drive I'm sure you heard a lot of people say that do not get disturbed always keep your eyes on the road concentrate on what's happening Ooh, these guys are partying it's 12 50 and ooh, it's past midnight at my place if it's past midnight it, the only persons outside are the dogs the, the cute little puppies cute street dogs waiting for you to say hello by grabbing your leg <laughs> yeah you drive late at night especially if you if you have a motorcycle or a two-wheeler and you're driving around bang it catches hold of your leg and it's like ooh, who's that okay mr bus take my left right there I'm going my left, left only, so yop, 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 hello there truck, I've been driving for miles, oh, 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 thank god, I thought I just, okay, it's right on time, I put the brakes for the right time, I passed the light, I don't want to be fined, yep, everything seems okay, let me stick my head out again, Ooh. 
fresh bees in my face. Must take my left here. I'm almost coming to my s stop. And we are stopped. No vehicles from the left. Clear from the right. Taking my turn. Ooh, look at all these fancy shops. Clothes shop. Yes, maybe clothes is another way, uh, another another topic for another day. Look at all this place. Tire change, exchange. Uh, all these fancy places. What's that? What are they selling there? Fashion. I'm just window shopping, mother. Yep. Window shopping is one great way to see what you want to buy tomorrow. There, there was always a trick about buying. I'll end the video with that. I'll end the, uh, with an advice of what people say about buying things. If you want to buy something, always wait for a day and see. Most people change their mind in, in a day. So you know what to do. Okay, I'm in the place where I'm supposed to be. I don't see no guards to check and see what's happening. Okay, so it's asked me to park where? Wait, what? Am I in the right place? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yep, I am in the right place. I took my right. Is there a place I'm supposed to go? Allow? There's a guy with a truck. Oh, now that's weird, isn't it? There's a guy who's supposed to uh, show me where I'm supposed to park. It just says I'm supposed to just come there and turn. Well, let me turn on my vehicle. It's the weirdest thing that ever happened. Yeah, I don't want to give it a lot of... I mean, I think I'm in the right place. Hello? So, I just saw a man here. I don't see him anymore. Okay, I was asked to come here and then there's a marker towards my right. I must... Okay, ah, I just missed it. See, I was talking to you, but I'm waiting for a day and I miss it. It's over here. Wait, is it? It's not over there. No, that's weird. I think I have to contact contact the contractor who's giving me this job. And tell him I'm waiting outside. Ask him to come up. Let's turn on my caution light because I'm turning around. The weirdest thing that ever happened. I'm sure it's not the weirdest thing for all truck, truck drivers. I'm sure this happened to them before too. I mean, most of the truck drivers indeed. So, they asked me to go around there and park it towards my left. Ah, he's right there. I didn't see him. And when I come here, I'm not able to see where I'm supposed to park. That's one weirdest thing i ever seen. Whoa. Okay, so I'm just going to call out, contact my contractor and let him know that I'm here and maybe the person is supposed to pick up jewelry will come pick it up and I shall end my day here. I will see you guys on another beautiful video next time. Take care and enjoy it. Turn it off. Time to call the driver. Hello? How are you doing there, kind sir? I'm just kidding. I'm just going to pick up my phone. I'm just trying to find that it. it's got to be somewhere down here. I'll just contact him and let him know that I'm here. And I don't know where to park or if I can leave or something like that. You guys have a great day. I will see you guys later. Take care and thanks for joining me on this episode.